let's go ahead and start prepping for this turbo install. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, I'm Matt and I'm putting a turbocharger on my daily driver which is a 2012 Chevy Cruze. I've got the manifold all built and now it's time to take care of some little odds and ends so we can install the turbo. One of the things I need to do is modify this internal wastegate bracket here. It's going to sit in the car like so. However, this bracket mounts here and the way this thing is angled it is just completely off from where it needs to, to locate here to open and close the internal wastegate. So I'm gonna have to modify this bracket right here to angle this thing more like that. One of the other things that I got for this build because I wanna maintain or just keep my stock mass airflow sensor is I got this. This is a three inch piece. What I'm wanting to do is I got this oil catch can because I need to be able to vent the positive crankcase pressure and it came with a bunch of nipples a bunch of different sizes so I'm going to take the largest nipple here which this is aluminum and this is as well this will be in front of the turbocharger here along with a filter I have a 90 degree piece in which this is going to go this way I'll have the filter here what I'm going to do is weld this bung in I'm going to just cut it off here probably I might cut it off here we'll see and then I'm gonna drill a hole mount this here so that way it'll suck in all that positive pressure being made by the boost by the boost by the turbocharger and in order to do that what I got was a propane torch and some Lumi weld seen this stuff on the net I don't know how to weld aluminum nor do I have the equipment so we're gonna give this a shot and see how it holds up and I'll leave a link down in the description so that way if you want to try this method all these items and everything I got for this build will be down in the description all right I got the shade tree special clamp going on here let's go ahead and lop that off Now I get to play with some fire. Yes, let's do it. There we go. While that cools down, let's go ahead and tackle this wastegate bracket. Alright, we got it nice and cut. I scored it a little bit down at the bottom right there just to make it a little easier to fold over. But you can see I right on the money with that cut. Now we can just Fold that guy back. I have to bolt it up to the turbo and see where it needs to be. We'll weld it up. I got everything all finger tight on here, and it looks like we've got the correct angle. Aside from now, this thing just needs to. I just need to completely cut this. I don't want to completely separate it, so I'll leave a little bit intact right here, and then I'll just bend this thing backwards so that way it will shoot right up to that wastegate door hinge thingy. By George, I think he's got it. There we go. Right on the money. And then now I just need to, I'm gonna weld this up. Maybe I might tack weld it, toss it back on, make sure nothing's moved, and then fully weld it. I think I'm just gonna kind of take my time doing maybe half an inch at a time, so that way this flange does not do anything weird. 
This time, instead of using that stick welder, I went by my brother's house a little earlier today. Borrowed his MIG welder. Let me get my keys. Got my keys. It's just a cheapy Harbor Freight. Let me get this out the car and show you. But there she is in all her glory. Good old Chicago Electric or, yeah. Yeah, it's a Chicago Electric. So I'm gonna use that to weld that flange up. And it's also, here's something that came in today. All the exhaust pipe to get the job done. So I'm gonna use that to weld up the exhaust. Hopefully I can get around to putting the turbo on to the car and at least get the exhaust all welded up. Some of the other things I got, it's a nice little Chinese Amazon catalytic converter. And I decided to go all two inch. This is all, excuse me, this is all two and a half inch. Everything here is two and a half inch. This is a cheapy Flowmaster. I kind of like the sound of the videos, even though they're on a lot of V8 vehicles. I thought this might kind of give it a little bit more of an American sound. So let's plug her in and get the welding. Got it tack welded up. Put a tack here and here. Nothing seemed to shift. So let's go ahead and fully weld this thing up. All right, I got it all welded up. Now it's time to bolt it on and see if anything messed up. Well, not messed up, you know, warped. I was hoping it didn't warp. <laughs> There we go. Looks good. Nothing warped on me while I was welding it. I got a bit, I wasn't exactly that patient. Did weld it up in sections, let it cool a little bit. Cooled. I let it cool as I was welding it. And, you know, I hadn't used that MIG welder in a while. It's kind of crap, but we got the job done. So that is all taken care of. And while we're at it, this thing is nice and cooled down. Let's go ahead and unbolt this as well. See how it came out. I'm pretty sure something shifted. The hole lines up nice. And I think what I'll do with this is get a can of rattle paint that's the silver color. And I'm just going to, I might just paint the whole thing, but really I just kind of want to paint these welds so they don't rust up down the road. So everything on here is just kind of semi-tight at the moment. He's in the office. Today, I'm gonna to start working on installing the turbo. I'm at least going to install the turbo and then hook up the exhaust. I'll do the charge pipe stuff a little later on, but I'm gonna get the turbo on at least. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe because the next coming video, this thing's gonna be turbocharged. Well, you know, it'll actually be on the car. We'll see you in the next video.